a video to help your friend set up his Cortex with his DX18. I'm using a DX9. The software is the same, so he just follows the same procedures in the menus that I'm about to do. I have the Cortex, a spare Cortex that I can program and show you on the bench so it's a little easier for you to see what's going on with the LEDs instead of looking at it in my plane. First off, this is assuming that he's already mounted the Cortex in the plane and he's done the quick setup where he's already moved the aileron full right, full left, elevator, full down, full up, rudder, etc, etc. So the Cortex is already in the plane. The quick setup is already programmed and ready to done. I'm going to first turn on the transmitter. I'm going to power on the Cortex. Now, when I do this, I use the three position switch on the radio. Because with a three position switch with the radio, you can either fly with a gyro mode, or you can fly with a hold mode, or you can turn it off. Being able to turn off the Cortex is very handy in case you've thrown up the airplane and it's not exactly doing what you want it to do. Either you have too much gain, or maybe something got reversed. You can easily turn off the gyro and fly the plane and have complete control of it instead of trying to fight the gyro. For me, I use Auxiliary 2 which corresponds to the right front three position switch. You can see here as I flip the switch, the LED on the cortex changes. So in this position, the light is green. This is the hold mode. Here is red, the gyro is off. Here is amber, which means it's in the gyro mode. Now your friend was saying he was having issues trying to get plus and minus values. He doesn't need to get plus and minus values to set up the cortex. What the switch is doing is it's corresponding a gain. So right now, since I haven't done anything with this switch, it's 100, 100, both ends. This is maximum gain that the Cortex will see. If you fly the plane with this type of gain, it's going to have oscillations. So I recommend for his first flight, he goes into his menu, goes to his servo setup, goes to the travel, and like I said, I'm using auxiliary 2, so I would take auxiliary 2, and I would turn it down to somewhere around 25. It's a good starting point for the hold mode. And then I would also turn the gyro mode, flip the switch, see the amber went, see the LED went amber. I would flip gyro mode also around 25. And this will allow him to have low gains and he can start with this and then fly the airplane. Now, how you, I can prove to you that this is working is if I flip this back to here where it's in the hold mode and I fire up the uh, travel adjustment, watch as I turn it down, see how it fell out of the hold mode and is now, the cortex is now off, right there. This is all you're trying to do. You're trying to set up your endpoints so that they correspond to the light lighting correctly. So again, start with your settings at 25, fly the plane, and then as you're flying the plane, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna adjust, make these adjustments. The nice thing is if you have a buddy with you, you can leave this menu up and you can fly your plane and you can make the adjustments as you're flying. My recommendation when you're flying the plane in the gyro mode, you're gonna to wanna to adjust this gain as high as you can get it going as fast as you're going to fly until you start seeing oscillations. The moment you see oscillations, either wing wag, tail wag, or pitching wag, back it off about two clicks and then leave it there and that's going to be your gain for the gyro mode. And then I would do the same, flip it to the hold mode, again LED's green, and I would turn it up until you start seeing oscillations. Now, with the hold mode, you may find you're just happy with leaving it at a certain gain because you're not, the hold mode, you're not really going to fly the plane at maximum speed. You use the hold mode to do things like hover, uh, help you pull off moves that are a little bit more difficult. So it's a little harder to catch when you have too much gain in the hold mode. So, on, say for example, my 74 inch 3D Hobby Shop edge I have this set for the hold mode right at about 50 and then for the gyro mode I have it cranked up to about I think it was about 65 66 I'm not sure it's not in this radio it's in my other radio but 
but that's how you would do it on a three position switch. So you're not looking for plus and minus values, you're just looking for these values here to be about 25 each to start until you fly the plane and you figure out where it starts to oscillate and wobble. Now, if you don't want to put it to a three position switch or you don't have a receiver that you have the extra three position switch available, say you're only flying a six channel radio or six channel receiver and you have dual ailerons and you've used your auxiliary one for the other aileron, you can plug it into your gear port and then your gear switch will control the cortex. Now when you do this, it's a two position switch, so it's going to be either hold or gyro. You're not going to be able to turn off the cortex, but if this is how you're going to have to fly it because you only have a six channel receiver, you would come back here and you would go to the gear channel and again, adjust it back down to 25 for each of the different flight modes, fly the airplane and slowly adjust it up until you start seeing oscillations. And then once you see oscillations, back it off two clicks, leave it, and then you're set. Again, this is how you would do it if you had it hooked, had to have it hooked up to a two-position switch such as a gear channel because you only had a six-channel receiver and you're using dual ailerons. Uh, I hope this helps and I hope this makes it clear as to what you need to do. You're not necessarily looking for plus and minus values. You're just trying to set it up so that the Cortex understands what mode you need to fly in. And then the numbers now, instead of being what position it is, corresponds to how much gain each channel has the rate of gain for your gyro. Alright, hope this helps.